Hey, son. This is... Hey, guys, this is me. I was watching a... I was watching videos from Son and Grave, Grave Three, whatever, you want, Crit, Grave Yard Girl Three, or whatever her name is. And I'm just letting you know, I feel the same way. I lost someone I truly cared about. When I was dealing, a, I think it was 2013, or 2000, yeah, it was 2013, or somewhere around there, I lost my dog. The greatest thing that ever happened to me in my entire life, two weeks, I lost him. I was depressed. I, I had anxiety and anger issues, and, and I started out my YouTube channel because I just want to have fun. I want to have fun. I really do. And I know this may or may not get a lot of views, but I'm just... I'm sad because I lost Chewie and when I lost Chewie I felt like I lost everything. It made my life miserable. It made me so depressed. It's not fun. People think, oh, you can get over it. Oh, just get over it and move on. Well, you can't simply just move on with it. it. It takes commitment and a lot of things you had to deal with. I mean, if it wasn't for Sandy, if it wasn't truly for Sandy, I wouldn't be here right now. I would be... I would be at a, I would never have had a job. I would be depressed and I would be in a great pub if it wasn't for Sandy. And I mean, there were several factors that I, that I'm, that there are several reasons that I, that I got a, that I got depressed, and and really, I have anxiety. I deal with. I mean, I take trazodone, and I take prescription medicos. But I take trazodone for my anxiety because without trazodone, I can't sleep at all. I could go days without sleeping. Uh, well, I could go days and days without sleeping, and people think, oh, you'll be fine. I'm not. My life is fucking miserable. Like everything else. I mean, I would love saying to come down to me and, and just tell me, what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing why right or something. I don't get a lot of views. Uh, when I watch this, when I watch the video, I just like, that's how I, uh, that's how I am now. I'm, it's about the views or whatever. And it's like, it should never be about the views. I don't get as much views. Like, like, I don't get millions of views. I really get any view as it is. I don't have the white equipment to to make videos. I just have this stupid piece of crap phone. And I, it's just, it's really hard. <laughs>
<laughs> it really is. I mean, my life is hard. Trying to do this is not easy. I don't ever get paid doing this at all. I I don't get paid doing this. I I I have a part time job because I'm disabled. I got bullied when I was a kid. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And so I can relate to what had happened and stuff. And I had stuff. This is all my fault because I decided that I simply just don't want to believe in all the us anymore. A, a while ago. Because I didn't see the point. I... I... I don't know. And now, because of that, I have ego issues and emotional issues. And <laughs> I mean, you see me on the video. I have had a tears crying down my, from, from my eyes because I am sad. <laughs> I really am sad. I am so I am insecure about myself. I don't have confidence in what I'm doing. As a kid, I didn't really care about people who they think it not. I move on with my life. I mean, my first thing I ever recorded on. I was, what, third, I was either 11 or 12 that I got it. It was a flip camera, a camera recorder camera. It was the first thing I ever recorded on. And I love that thing to death. I would take it out to work, I would take it out and record it. So I would take it on the slide and record it that way. I did so much fun things. And, I mean, obviously the camera is probably the... The company that made it is probably out of business, which is sad. But that's how things go in this world. But, I mean, I would love to have a camera and stuff. And it would be so grateful. <laughs> and it would be really grateful if I had a camera and a laptop and make YouTube videos better than I do. And I don't make it, make it videos at this time. <laughs> I understand. I see things that it's really hard. It's really hard for me to say to to, to keep my promises. <laughs> but I'm a human being. It's not like I'm gonna be easy peasy all the time. It, it, I wish people truly understand that. I can't always keep my promises, no matter how hard I try. I try so many times to fucking get rid of my YouTube channel because, to stop uploading because I had no point. I have no point in doing it. I really did it. <laughs> And so it, it's really hard for me. My life 
has been nothing but miserable. Fucking miserable. And the only way I can truly feel free is having responsibility. And the reason why I couldn't... I couldn't tell her what I... What I, I couldn't tell my worker what I discussed with my counselor is I don't have any confidence at all. I have enough confidence as it is to to be to talk on the videos, but I have so low self esteem. I I'm unsecure. I'm miserable. I fucking miserable in my life. <laughs> and I understand I have great friends but I don't make it. I I have about five hundred something videos I uploaded, and I haven't made a lot of videos. I mean, I haven't made a lot of views. I I don't know what else. I'm I don't, I just don't know, I really don't, because I'm lost. Right now I feel like my spirit is lost from the path that I had sought on since the day I was born. I feel like I have lost from, from God, that, that my spirit can't find the way to God anymore. I feel like I'm not righteousness anymore and, and, and all that. I, it's, just, it's really hard. It's hard trying to be a disabled person while people think you're not. When I say, I was born disabled. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> My life, I just, I don't know. And watching the video that Jane had up, had uploaded a while back about Graveyard Girl, whatever her name is. And I just want to say thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, that they showed me that that I don't have to truly be like a lot of these other people. I lost myself in a way of money and greed. All I cared about for a second was money. It was always money to me. And I lost track about all the great things I have done. I mean, I got an apartment. I got a lot of these things that, I mean, I'm glad I have it. I'm glad I have an apartment and, and stuff. And I'm grateful for the one lady who have everything I want, I would, I could ever dream. I'm great. I just... I don't make... I only make $9 or something an hour. That's about it. So, I don't know. I really don't. Because... And I'm sorry for melting down. And video. <laughs> but this is a true me. This right here is who I am. I'm an emotional mess. That's all I ever will be. And probably all I ever could be. And I know if if I could put my, ha my heart and soul to it. 
I can achieve anything I want. And I'm trying. I fucking try it every day. I working my ha- my ass off every day with work from eight to nine o from eight o'clock from eight a.m. to nine a.m. in the morning every not every day but Monday my Monday through Wednesday working my tail end off. For people to say, oh. Well, that's easy, okay? I'm disabled. I don't make millions of dollars. I don't, I be, I make, I sometimes get $40 depending on how much I work because it's $40 I get is because of the $9 and something cent an hour I make every day that I work. And even then, that's not good enough. Nothing is good enough anymore. I thought that I, if I moved my, if I moved away from my family, that my life would be much more happier. And it's not. I thought if, if, if I had kids that that would bring me joy to my life and it's not it's not bringing joy to my life bringing misery making me suffer for for having kids and I love it <laughs> I just, I love kids so much, and I know I'm getting off traffic. I just can't help it. I'm, I just thank you for, I thank you, Sane, and Graveyard Girl, for showing me that, that I am this, I am exactly like how you guys are. I'm just exactly like how you guys are, and I'm thankful for that. And I'm just saying, you know, uh, but I hope one day me and you can come, can cross paths one day, and I'll be happy to meet you. I just hope that, so bye.